A still morning before the sun rises on the holiest of holy rivers, the Ganga. Today marks the most auspicious day on the Hindu calendar, February 10th, when the universe was believed to have been created. It is expected that within the city of Allahabad, also known as Prayag, with an estimated population of 1.7 million people, 40 million additional visitors from around the world will come for a holy dip in the river. It is believed that anyone who takes a holy bath in a river during Kumbh Mela will attain moksha, the remission of all worldly sins and ultimate liberation from the cycle of life and death. The sun explodes into the sky in perfect sync with the cries and procession of the mystic ash-covered Nagababas as they lead their way to Sangam on the banks of the river. After a week inside the experience of Kulm, the dust and smoke and activity communicate directly to your senses that this is not only the largest religious gathering in the world, but with cameras flashing and meteor everywhere you turn, it is also the greatest show on earth. To walk these grounds is to experience a cross-section of humanity that is as inspiring as it is confounding. An uncompressed, unbridled megadose of the entire subcontinent projected fast forward across every sense in your body. And as you feel the deep spirituality of holy men, sadhus, swamis, and families who have pilgrimaged across this country or this world to attend, questions emerge. Where does the meaning lie? And while the answers do not come easily, the questions begin to soften and blur, and amidst the gallery of faces and sounds of chanting and prayer, one suddenly finds themselves absorbed into the rhythm of the chaos and ritual. And while every corner you turn across the 11 kilometers that covers this extraordinary event reveals a part of Mother India that no matter how many times you visit, you are seeing for the first time, you begin to make an inner sense. Contained in the very act of coming together, of lighting a candle that will float down the river, in bathing in the holy water, in the smiles and welcoming gestures, you cease to be on the inside and become part of what's nearly impossible to articulate. And as the chanting fades to the background and the evening light fades to darkness, you can feel India and Kum seated deeply inside. Tomorrow along the river, worship will continue as it has for thousands of years.